Hello my lovelies. How's everyone out there doing today? My name is Jenny. Welcome to my channel. So for today's video we are going to talk about Juno. If you guys don't know what Juno is, Juno is a cosmetic company that's in California. They started with a little sponge. A little little sponge. And they've gone from sponges to these beautiful palettes. I have all of them. I have everything Juno. Like everything. I have I started with the sponges. And literally I have like all their sponges, like all their sponges. I have all their sponges, but I'm going to be completely honest with you here. Um, even though I have an affiliate link with Juno, which I make a tiny bit off of them and I will leave it below. And if you guys, let me let you, let me let you know something here. If you happen to use my link, please let me know. And the reason I'm saying that is because I've had some people use the link and for some reason it's not tracking back to me. I don't know why, but it's not. So I've had to actually contact them and say, okay, so-and-so use my link and it's not coming back to me. Can you like investigate it? For some reason it doesn't. And I don't know why, you know, five bucks is five bucks, right? So anyway, um, I like the blend my face blenders from Amazon better than Juno. I know this is a Juno video. I know I shouldn't be saying that, but I'm honest with you guys. I don't bull crap. I'm telling you the way it is. And I do just let you know. However, they have these little tiny sponges. These little tiny itty bitty little sponges for underneath the eyes, around the nose, that are bomb. I love these little tiny things. Blend My Face Blenders. They're developing these right now. Shh, don't tell anybody. I don't, don't tell anybody. Anyway, and I have Juno brushes. Let me show you. I have this little one here. This little kabuki. And I have all the brushes. As you can tell, I have both sets. So, I mean, you know, all of them. I have all the brushes. So I have everything Juno. So for the face palettes, I have the original face palettes, which is the Cherry Bomb. This is the first one they came out with. My dog's going crazy. I just did a trim mood unboxing, by the way, guys. So the video may or may not be on before this. This is why I have so much of my makeup already done. So the Cherry Bomb was the original palette they came out with. And that was this one right here. And I used the crap out of it when I first got it. And that's before I really got into a bunch of other brands of makeup, but I used that one a lot. And then they came out with it right after that, like not too long after that, they came out with the bombshell, which looks awesome on dark skin tones, like awesome. But I still used it. I think it's gorgeous. And then there was like nothing for a while. They didn't come out with anything for a while. And they kept teasing us saying, we're going to come out with stuff. We're going to come out with stuff. Then they came out with these. They came out with the Margarita palette and then the Papillon. When I ordered the Margarita palette, well, first off, um, they said that we're, they're doing a release and I didn't get anything on it. And then I saw where they released these things along with three eyeshadow palettes, which obviously I have them, um, right here, but I didn't, I never got anything saying that they were releasing them until after it got released. And as an affiliate link, you're supposed to let me know ahead of time, but I didn't get, I didn't get that. So by the time I went online to order, they were out of the, the La Papillon and all they have is the Margarita and they had one of the eyeshadows. So I do have a video on that, which I'll link right here um, with, with that. This is the Margarita palette and I'll show that to you. And as you can tell, this is the shadow that's very like jello-like, jelly doggies, puppies, my puppies are playing. Um, but this one here does not look good on its own. As you can tell, it's just not. You have to actually like layer. So like if you take this one here, which is also soft, and then you layer this one on top of it. So this is one. Oh, sorry. This is one. And then you layer this one on top of it. Then you got a beautiful stunning shade. But by themselves, they're just not, you know, you have to layer them up. I didn't like it by itself. And you'll see that video and you'll see me tell you that. Um, and this color down here is a little different. It's, it's, it's different, but that's, that's that palette. So then I got the eyeshadow palette. The first one I got was this one here. Puppies, 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 puppies. I don't even do this when I get on camera. They, before I got on camera, they were just laying there sleeping. This was the first one I got. Freaking love it. Absolutely love it. And I wasn't going to get the other two because they're really not my colors. But then I'm like, okay, you know, you've got everything else, Juno. You do have an affiliate link. You might as well just get everything. And you know, I don't, like I said, I don't bull crap you. If I don't like it, I'm going to tell you I don't like it. It's simple as that. But that's just the way I am. I don't care if they pay me a million dollars. I'm going to tell you what I think. So the other day, they finally had them in stock. So I finally got them. So this is the Le Papillon palette. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that. I have this on right now as my contour. Yes like it it's pale 
but perfect. It's a little muddy, I'm not gonna lie. It is a little muddy. Um, so it's not good for like a bronzing, but it's good for a highlighter. Um, I did have to go in with my Ofra um, Samantha March combo collab for my bronzer. And that's what that is. It's like a two-in-one kind of bronzer. It's called River. But I did use that for my bronzer because that just wasn't a good bronzer. It was a good highlighter, but not, I mean a contour, but not a good hot bronzer. And then I haven't swatched the other ones yet. So we're going we're gonna to do that. So let's see what we got. Um, the colors on these are actually written in the box. So that bronzer, I mean the, the, the contour is amber. This one is Monarch. Oh, look at that. That's really pretty. And then that's that one right that one right there that's monarch and then this one here is called iris okay we're well not much there's not much that's kind of glittery i'm not i don't like that one um i don't like glitter type highlighters so i don't know about that one see what i mean and then this one here is called petal and that's very pink um i mean they're pretty but this one's too glittery, but this one's really pretty. Um, oh no, it's still it's still glittery. It's very glittery. Why does that not look glittery till you put it on your face? And the other one is not glittery when you put it on your face. It doesn't make any sense. This one is not glittery when you put it on your face. Watch. But this one is. Watch. Can you see that? That is so weird. That is such a weird thing. I actually have Monobola. I have this on for highlighter today. Um, I know you probably did not see that. Um, just to show you a highlighter I have on. This is, this is the highlighter I have on. It's called Nobla Skin Glazing Ozone. Um, and then in my blush is the Tremor Box. You have to watch that video. But I don't like that glitter. No, I don't like that at all, guys. It is literally like coming off. Like I'm brushing it. And it's coming off as a brush. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that um, as a highlighter. Let me try again. Yeah, it's like, no, it doesn't swatch as glitter, but then it comes off. I mean, it's literally like everywhere. I don't like that. Let me try using a brush. It's chunky. Oh, I don't like that. I do not like that. Let me try like their little, this is another one of those sponges. No. Okay, I do not like these two. They look pretty in the pan. If you like a glitter type highlighter, but I do not like glitter type highlighters. I do not like that. Um, it's literally getting everywhere. Can you see what it's doing? I do not like that. I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, I don't know if yeah, I don't know if you can, but it's watch. Put both of them on there. See, it's it's glittery, and then it like it when I want to go do this, it, like comes off. And it's like all up my nose. <sighs> I do not like those two colors. I don't like them at all. So I, I mean, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you don't like that. Yeah, I do not like that. Um, and it doesn't say anything about how to use them. It just says, Mesmerizing butterfly inspired shades echo the beauty of nature's metamorphosis. The Le Papillon face palette enhances your best features with the colors of spring using four blendable pigments to highlight, contour, shimmer, and delightfully accent your look. Well, I don't know about that. I don't like that. It's literally going all over my face. Okay, yeah, I don't like those two colors. Those, those won't be used. Um, that pink, I already have blush on, but I'll take a small little brush here and see. Uh, maybe not. I really don't have a small little brush. Mine are, mine are highlighter brushes. I have to wash it anyway. I'll take that pink, and we'll see kind of what it does. As a, like right here on the my cheeks. Right on the highlight of my apples and my cheeks. It's hard to tell since I already have some on, but it's pretty. It's a very pink lavender type, but it's really pretty. It'd be really pretty too as a, um, I'm, I'm kind of bringing it up just to see. Um, it'd be really pretty as a eyeshadow. 
but once again, I'm not much on this, um, how the, the palette. I like the first two that came out with Cherry Bombs, my favorite one. Um, and it's okay. I don't know if you can see, let me move, let me move this light. I don't know if you can see. Um, I don't, I don't know guys. I just, I'm not thrilled with these two. I'm not thrilled. I'm not going to lie. Um, like I said, these, these just the formulas I don't like. I don't like, I don't, I like the, I like this, but I'm, I'm not crazy about the other ones. Same thing with this one. I do not like, you can, you can see the glitter. It's like, it looks a little, it's like duochrome. You can, if you can tell, it's like a duochrome, but you can actually see that glitter if you look really close on it. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm honest. I just don't. I don't like it. The packaging is gorgeous. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful packaging. I think they did really good with that. I gotta get my light back where it was. Um, I think they did really pretty with the packaging. The packaging is beautiful. Um, even the box itself, um, the letters are a little raised on the the packaging. So that part I think is beautiful. I just don't like this. Part. I don't like that. I don't. Now for the other two, the Starlet, um, we have Dreamer and Goddess. Um, Dreamer is this one here, and it's blue. I don't wear blues. Um, honest, I'm just letting you know. The only reason I got them is because they're Juno. So that's what that one looks like. This looks like it may be a glitter. Excuse my gross nails. Um, I can't wear glitter on my eyes unless it's Pat McGrath, and I say that like in every video. For some reason, she used the only formulas, and I haven't tried all her palettes yet. I have them. I just haven't tried them. So the ones I have tried, I can wear. And this is Goddess. And this is one that I'm going to be working with today, I think. Um, I don't see glitters in this one, so they're really pretty. I'm going to swatch them, and then we're going to take a look to see, um, you know, how they do. And hopefully there's no glitter I don't know if there's any glitter in that. These are what they look like on my finger. And honest guys, swatches don't do anything for me. I know a lot of you guys like to look at swatches, but swatches are not what they do on the eyes because when you use a base on your eyes, that's not what they look like. You know, it's not. It's not what they look like. I've had some swatches that swatch beautifully. My paint palette, for instance, swatch beautifully. Put on my eyes. No. Some of those colors did not do the same as what they did on the swatch. And then we're going to look at the blue one. That is a glitter. It's, ew. Ew. Look at this. Do you see that? That is gross. Who wants that on their eyes? That's nasty. I'm sorry. That is gross. And then we have the other two colors. Now, I like that. This color here. But that, that white is gross. I thought the color pops were chunky. No. That is disgusting. I mean, let's see how they like go on. It's it's hard and crunchy. It doesn't even lay on right. Oh my god! Like, how would you use that? Look at that. It's like a sweat fuzzy sweater. You know what it reminds me of? Stucco paint. It's like sandpaper. Oh my god. That's horrible. That is absolutely horrible. It's actually, it's itching my hand. Oh, I gotta get it off. Oh my God, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to be complaining so much. Um, and they are $10, by the way. They had them to 15. They took them 10 for, because when they brought them back out, they brought them back out as a, um, a pre-sale. And then Cassidy, Cassidy. I'm the same, which is doing them out of the bell. Cassidy, stop. They're both females and they're both fixed, but she does the thing. Um, they brought them back as a pre sale and they brought them back for um, $10. And then they decided to leave them at $10, so they gave me a $5 credit for the other one because I bought the other one for $15. So that, that was good that they did that. I thought that was nice. But yeah, that, that color is gross. That's one of those colors you kind of want to put tape over so it doesn't, doesn't make its way into anything else. I'm sorry. That's just gross. Anyway, so I do have my P. Louise, and I do have the Zero, which is the white color. I have that down, and I do have a little bit of the Gerard Cosmetics um, that's mixed onto my brush already um, in the clean canvas. Um, and that's like a more of a tacky base. So now I'm just kind of patting it down because 
I did my trend mood unboxing. I was going to use something in there and I didn't. My dog's in the bathtub. Hear her? She's in the bathtub. She's thirsty, I think. I think I've kept her in his room too long, so she's thirsty. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I'm going to try this brush out. I got this brush. Um, it was in one of my Sigma palettes, and I haven't used it. It's a double-ended brush, and I'm going to try it because I haven't, and I'm just I'm just curious what it's like. So we're going to use that today, um, but I'm going to grab a Juno brush first to try to lay one of these colors down. Um, Roxy, can you please get out of the bathtub? And this is... Um, so this is the crease brush and it's ES18 and it's just a slanted brush and we are going to place this brown and we'll try this one and there's color names on the box I think at least the last box there was yes there is and I'm going to tell you those color names um it is oh wow that's really hard to read halo saint Aura and Temple. We're going to go with Temple. Make sure I got the right palette. Yes, we're going to go with the color Temple. And we're going to pick a little bit of that up. And hopefully it's as good as the last one. Because that last one, that was absolutely freaking gorgeous. And there's a little bit of shimmer to this. I'm not sure how it's going to go on as a like crease. But what I do is I concentrate more of the color like to one side of that brush. Like it's not as on this side as much as it is on this side. And I press it up. And I press it in first just to kind of get a base of where we're going to put it. And that just deposits the color on there well. And then I go with just kind of feathering it in. If that makes any sense. Now she's licking her. I'm going to bring you in closer so we can, we can be on the same wavelength. And I have my Juno mirror in front of me. You guys have been here. You heard me talk about I love this Juno mirror, by the way. I really do. Um, I can't see, like, at all. Um... So it actually helps me because it's got the little mirror that I can take off and, hand, and hold it in my hand if I want to. And then it has lights on it if I want to use those lights. I have two of them. I have a rose gold one, which is really pretty. And then I have, which is this color right here. And then I have a white one that I have in my camper. And before I went camping, I used to just have this regular mirror. And I used to have to open like the blinds and like turn the lights on and never could see. And now I have a mirror like this. So it's amazing. So yeah, like I said, I have everything by Juno. All right, looking at my time because I get long-winded all the time. Okay, that's really pretty. Then I'm going to kind of bring it out a little bit here in the corner. I want to go do one at a time, by the way, just to save some time. Let's go do one eye. I'm going to use both palettes. I'm going to use that gray color as like a little bit of an um, liner. All right, so I'm going to bring that up a little bit in the corner out right here. I couldn't get my wedding ring on my finger again. I got my $5 ring on, but I got it on this one. I don't, I don't understand that. I just saw that when I looked in the mirror. It doesn't really matter, but... All right, and then I'm going to bring it up a little bit because of the fact my eyes are a little hooded there. It's blending very nicely. And like I said, with a little bit of that Gerard base, the Gerard base is a little more tacky than my P. Louise's. And it's blending really nice into that. I'm going to put that brush down so I do not forget that I have it there. And then I'm going to grab this um, this one by Sigma. I have no idea what the brush is even called. Does it even have a name on it? I don't think it does. It just came in one of the palettes. It just says Sigma. Well, that, that, yeah, it does. Um, it has the E38 Diffuse Crease and an E54 Medium Sweeper. We're going to use the Medium Sweeper, and we're going to go with this color here, which is color Saint. And that is this color right here. And I'm going to use that right on the outside oh that's got a lot of pigment oh Ooh, it matches my lips oh. and i have that also just on one side of the brush and i'll show you the reason why so i'm, I'm putting it on like this right and then i'm going to turn that brush and use it to blend it And then I'm going to blend it in, and then we'll turn it back. That's the product on it. Grab some more. Tap it off. 
And then I'm gonna put some just on the tip, like very little bit, like right on the tip. Do you see where I put that right on the tip? Maybe you can see it. I see I can't tell whether it's coming in clear because I don't have the glasses on, but I'm gonna put that like right, stamp it just like that, okay? Tap it off really good. And then that side that didn't have any product on it, that side, pull it in. Just kind of blend it. And then I'm gonna use that blendable side. I like this brush. We'll kind of blend it in. It's really pretty. And then I'm gonna use the same tip again. And I'm gonna pull it down a little bit under. And I kind of press on the outside corner. And then I'm just gonna drag it across, halfway in, not all the way. And then again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm not taking any more of my brush, just using what I have. And this will kind of smush it in a little bit. And just keep flipping that brush around as I blend. That is so pretty. I really like this. I'm surprised I like it actually, to be honest with you. I like oranges. I'm just surprised I like it as much as I do. And then we'll grab that same brush again we had a minute ago. I'm not putting any more product on. I'm just gonna kinda blend this two together on the outside edge. That's really pretty. I like that. Now I'm gonna add more product, just a tiny bit. And I'm just gonna bring it right here. And then I'm gonna flip it where that point is. And just bring it right here. And this is works for me. It might not work for you. It just works for my eye shape. And I change all the time how I do my makeup. So, because I don't know what I'm doing. I just experiment. Um, I don't have any training, obviously. You can tell that. But I just experiment what works for me. And I have a scar right here. So sometimes I got to bounce into that scar to get the colors to lay in. Um, and like I said, I just I play and see what works best for me. I'm taking this and just kind of rolling it around here. And I just brought that color up some. I'm just not doing it. Okay, now I'm gonna take, um, I have a rougher brush and it's number, let's see what rougher, I think it's three, I'm not sure. That's a two, I'm sorry. This is a rougher two, this is actual, I think it's goat hair. Um, this is the only brush I have that's actually real hair. I'm gonna take this, that yellow color. Um, I'm trying this brush out. They have like a program where you can try brushes out. So I don't even know whether I'm gonna have an allergy to it. I've only used it once or twice, and I did have some reaction on my eyes, but I don't know whether it was the brush or whether it was the product I used, so I'm trying a different product, So, and I know I'm allergic to Juno, so I want to see whether or not I'm allergic to this brush, because I have to do a review on the brush, so we'll see, but it tucks color really nicely up underneath the eye there. And then I'm going to take that same brush on one side of the brush again, so as you can tell, we have it just on the one side. I mean, a little bit went to that side. I'm going to press it right against that. And oh my gosh, I'm going to freaking sunset look again, ain't I? <laughs> what am I not going to do one? Oh my God, I'm so sorry, guys. Just realized I did that. I wasn't intentionally doing it either. All right. You know what? I'm going to stop there because it'll be really sunset if I don't. I'm going to stop my camera. Okay. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to take this shimmer before I get too much into the sunset look. All right, I'm gonna place it right here. All right, that's got some glitter, um, more than I thought it was gonna have. So I'm really gonna press it so it doesn't go everywhere. And then I'm going to take um, one of their brushes let me see which one I want to use because what I will need to do, I don't want to get it everywhere. So I'm going to take this one. This is the rose gold. I'm not sure what they call the collection, to be honest with you. It is. I don't know if it has a number on it. I don't like this collection as much as I do the matte. It's this one here. It's, it's a little bit, it's a small head brush. Um, but I'm going to just smooth that out. That's what I'm trying to say here. And I'm going to put a little bit on the brush. 
goes on better with the finger. I'm trying to cover some of that yellow up because I realized it was going too sunsetty there. Yeah, I was, I was going too sunsetty. Um, I like it a lot. Not as much as I did the purple one. I like the purple one a lot more than this one, but it's still really pretty. Um, I'm going to grab that first brush again and just, just kind of put more in, you know, as I go here because I just want to make sure I lift my eye up as much as I can. And then I'm going to add more. It's just kind of like, you know, we kind of go back and forth until I can get enough added in. But if you notice the color, see where it's the same color, but it looks different just by the way we put it on in the way it blended in with the brown. I can see it from here. I'm not sure whether you guys can, but the fact that we tapped it out here like this, it looks more orange, but then we blended in up here and it's got more of like a red tone to it. But it's really, really pretty. I like that a lot. I think that's beautiful. And I was going to use that white color up here, but because it came off like snowflakes, I'm not putting anywhere near my eyes because that crap will go in there and I'll have poop in my eyes all night long. It's like white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab... I'm going to grab my cherry bomb. And I'm going to use this color from my cherry bomb and we're going to use that over the eye. And I'm going to use one of my brushes from Juno again, since we're kind of doing a Juno thing, I'm going to use my Juno brush. Um, and I'll so take the brushes down. It makes it easier because I can see what I'm doing. Um, let me use this brush right here. Okay. This is actually a liner type brush, but I'm going to use it for that. Um, this is ES20. And it's literally, it's a small little brush. Can you guys see that? I hate not being able to know whether you can see. Uh, I hate that. Anyway, I'm going to take a little bit of that. It is a stiff brush, so you just got to be careful not to smear it. You know, don't drag it, just tap it. I haven't found a brush yet that I like for up here, by the way. They say to use this one um, for that, and I've tried it. I just don't like it. It's one of my Moda brushes, this little fan. It's like a little highlighter fan brush, but you're supposed to use it for like up here, but to me it just makes a mess. I just don't, I don't like it. Um, anyway, we're going to put that up here, and then I'm going to put that right here in a corner. Okay. Perfect. Got a little chunk. Got a little chunk. Got a little chunk. All right. Put that over here. I laid it down too fast. Okay, and then I'm going to take this smoky color right here, okay, I'm going to take that, and I'm going to use, I'm going to use my, my, my um, N17 from Moda, I'm going to put that right, like on the waterline. I love this freaking brush. See? Perfect. And I'm going to do the same thing up here. I'm just going to put it as tightly as I can in that line. Because I don't use liner up top. I use it as a, I use it underneath, but obviously I'm not going to do that with the shadow. Because that'll go my, so I'm just going to put it as tight as I can. On that line up here. When you have hooded eyes, you don't want to use a lot of liner because it actually will make your eyes look more hooded. All right, then I want to bring it out. Tell my doggies are playing rough. She's over here panting. Yeah, that looks nice. I like that. Look better once I get my mascara on, but and I sometimes will do this. 
and I'll, I'm gonna tell you why after I finish. And I push in. Okay, the reason I do that, is, you might think I'm nuts, but it kind of gets my tear ducts a little bit. So that way it almost is not adding too much moisture on the brush, but just a teeny tiny bit, just to kind of pull it up to almost make it like a liner. That's why I do that. That way I'm not getting it too wet, but it actually gives it a, like a little bit of moisture. Does that make sense? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to do the other eye, and then I'm going to put some uh, mascara on, and then I'll be right back. All right, my lovelies, I'm going to bring you in because I did something a little different while, while I was going. So, I, I got to tell you. I got to tell you what I did. Okay. Are we ready? Are you ready? <gasps> okay. Hopefully, it'll be blurry. Come on, camera. Seriously? You got to do this to me now? Okay. So, do you see? Can you tell what I did besides adding a tiny bit more yellow? Do you see that color right there? Okay, what I did was I took a little bit of this blue, just just a little bit. Let me turn my camera up a little bit. It kind of moved. Okay, I took a little bit of this blue, and I took my finger, and I dabbed it on, and then I took that little Sigma brush that we were using to blend, and I tapped it. You can see where there's a little bit of blue on there. And I just kind of tapped it on after I put it with my finger, just to kind of give it a little wash of the blue. And then I took this little M17, and then I took the, the dark blue that was in there, and I put it just here, from here to the yellow as a liner. I just used it right there. Because as you can tell, I didn't put any eyeliner on. I just used I just used the the, the dark gray color from this palette as my eyeliner. Because usually I do a tight line um, with my Charlotte Tilbury, which thank God that doesn't have any rose in it. Um, but usually I do that with my Charlotte Tilbury, which I just had right here. I am so freaking unorganized. And believe it or not, I used to get awards for being organized when I worked in retail. I don't know how, but usually I use my classic Charlotte Tilbury, which I really need to get another one. It's getting, it's getting tiny, but usually I use that for my tight line. Didn't do it this time. I forgot. Um, I have to show you how I do it. I literally just take, after I do my, um, mascara, I just tight line just like this right up here. Now my thumbnails will be messed up because I didn't do, anyway, I don't think anybody's going to pay that close of attention, but anyway. I just tight line right up here, and it's the only brand that I can do this with. I tried with um, Pixie, and my eyes itched. I tried with ColourPop, and it comes off. But I do use ColourPop on the bottom. I use ColourPop White in the inner rim, and that's the only one I can use on the inner rim. I do have Pixie, but it gets sticky. Um, but anyway, so, can you see? Is it blurry? I don't know. Can, can you see me? I don't know why. My camera moved. I don't understand if my camera keeps moving. Anyway, can you see the blue on there? I don't know if you can or not. Let me just back up. Let me just back up and then we'll talk. Because it ain't making any sense. Anyway, I don't know why my camera keeps freaking moving. But it is what it is. And we're just going to deal with it. Because we always do. We always make it work. So, top of this palette first. When I first saw this released, I was like, I don't like it. I don't like that brown. I don't like that mustard orange color. I'm not going to get that palette. But then, like I said, once I got that purple one, I'm like, I might as well just go ahead and get it, you know? I am so glad I did, guys. So glad I did. I think it's so pretty. I'm getting, like, really starting to gravitate toward these browns. I don't know if you noticed that lately, but I'm doing more and more sunset looks, which is really starting to probably get to irritate you guys. I really need to, like, my next look needs to not be sunset. I need to find something different. I'm doing too many sunset looks. I did that green one though recently, but I really need to get on my sunset vibe because I've done a lot of them, but I like the way it turned out and adding that little bit of blue in because I really did not want to get this one because I'm not a blue person. So I really did not want to get this blue, but I did. And by the way, there is a, a protector in here, um, but because there is a mirror. Okay. Just let you know, just know that I can't see in the mirror, so I don't use the mirrors. Um, I didn't want to get this one because I don't like blues. So I don't know how it's going to be like as a blue palette because I just don't look good in blues. Even though I have blue eyes, I don't look good in blues. But that little touch of blue that I added there just kind of popped this look a little bit more. So I just was playing when I was off camera and I decided to try it. And I'm so glad I did because it just did something. It's almost like a purple wash when I added it with that, with this color. It's almost it made it look like a purple, but it brightened it. It really did. It brightened it. So I'm glad I did that. And then I added, I went back in and added a little bit of yellow because I do. But I really, really love these little palettes. And I'm glad they brought them down to $10 instead of 15 because I thought 15 was just a little much. So I have all three of them now. Purple one is still my favorite. You know, I really, really like this one. That's This is still my favorite one. 
Um, it really, really is. And I probably could have used, to be honest with you, I probably could have used that color. And then think about it. Instead of going for that one um, cherry bomb, I could have used this one up there. I think the mirror's messing up. Um, I could have went up there with that one and used that. Yes. Yes. You know, I tried to use that glitter mess gunk of a color on that up there, and I got it all up my eyebrow. See where I, I tried it? I did. I tried it. And no, uh, that's one thing I don't like about this, this, these eyeshadows is that color is disgusting. It's ridiculous. You saw it. It is like a, a fake snow. You know the fake snow that you put like in scenery or that you put on your windows every year. That's what that reminds me of. That's horrible. And I don't know whether it's just mine. Oh my gosh, guys. Do you see what it's doing? So I don't know whether it's just mine or or what, but that is the most disgusting color. That is really gross. That is that's nasty. I'm I'm almost half tempted just to literally dig it out and throw it away so it doesn't like it make a mess on the other colors. But what I might do is I might just take some tape and tape over it so it doesn't make a mess. But once again, I'll show you once again after just doing that. That's what it does. I mean, if you didn't see the first part of the video and you're only tuning into the end, that's disgusting. That's gross. That's I, I don't like that. It's like my face, and I just don't like it. Um, other than that, I like the rest of the palette. I think the rest of the palette's pretty. Those other colors are pretty. I am very glad I got these. So a plus, 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 plus for the, the eyeshadows. Face palette. I don't like it. I'm don't. I'm sorry. I don't like either one of those palettes. I love the cherry bomb and I got the cherry bomb. I liked it. I like the bombshell when I got this one. Not as much as cherry bomb. Um, but I like, I like the new, the old ones. I don't like the new ones. Um, I don't, I just don't like them. I like the, the, um, you know, the, the contour, but it's very similar to the cherry bomb. And I'll show you very, very similar. This one's the cherry bomb. This this one's the cherry bomb, and this is the new one. So they're very similar. The the, the cherry bomb's a little darker, obviously, but they're still they're pretty similar. This is you know the old the new one I mean. And then if we go back to um, the margarita, the margarita just has a little bit of a, a glistening to it. So it's more the margarita is more of a bronzing. So that kind of gives you an idea of all three of those. And then if we go into the bombshell, let's just keep it all going here. And go to that color um, so you can use like all of them together the bombshell is right there so this is the bombshell this is the margarita this is the cherry bomb and this is the papillon so that's all four of your your um, contour bronzer shades all together and I just do not like the new face palettes I'm not gonna bullcrap you guys I don't I just don't like them um, I like the old ones I like the blush color that's in the new one um, I don't like this one because it's weird, the gradient's weird, and I'm just gonna do one full swipe just to show you what I mean. To me, it's not a blush color. Now, for an eyeshadow palette, yes. I think it'd be pretty for an eyeshadow, not a face. Um, this works good as a topper, but not as a standalone. It works good as a topper for something else. This one's okay. This is okay for an eye. I tried it on my face that day, didn't like it. I'm being honest, guys, I just don't like it. And I'm not going to bull crap you. I told you before, I don't. I'm not. Um, and the same with this one. Um, this color and this color looks beautiful when I first took it out of the package. I thought it was gorgeous. I was excited. And then I put it on my fingers and fine. Put it on my face and you saw it. It was like glitter. Do not like that aspect. Um, I just don't like the glitter formulas on my face it just goes everywhere i just don't like it so i won't be using that i just won't i won't be reaching for that possibly that pink because that pink's probably gonna be pretty you know like on the face but as far as that no these two pots are going to go to the bottom of my drawer and the cherry bomb and the bombshell is going to go to the top and just the way it is but as far as the eyeshadows yeah i do like the eyeshadows so half and half you know you got the eyeshadows over here and then you get the face palettes over here i hope they bring more eyeshadows out i really do and maybe they'll come out with um Maybe some lipsticks. That's what I'm really, really hoping for. Because, you know, girls got to have a lipstick. So, keep your fingers crossed. Maybe they'll come with that. But, did you know they have SpongeBob, SpongeBob?
gorgeous. Did you know that? Did you? Well, now you know. And your girl just may have bought an additional set for a giveaway. And they just may be on their way. They may be in shipment. So, just saying. And speaking of lipsticks, have you guys seen the new Antigia? Have you seen the new the new uh, packaging on the Antigia? You know, the ones where you make your own? Yeah, go, go check them out. I'll leave the link. Well, the link's always below because you make your own colors. I made these too. This is the lip, the lip, uh, the lip gloss that I made. And check this out. You ready? This is mine, by the way. Like I said, this is called Disco, and this is called Dolled Up. I made these. Watch. Look at that cool. Look at this color. Look, 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 look. Oh, I just have to show you. Ugh. Anyway, I already have something else on. Um. Oh my God. Heaven. Heaven. I'm in heaven. Anytime I get new lipsticks, I go crazy. I just got some over here from um, Alta and Uma. Look at that one. This is supposed to be a Juno. This is supposed to be a Juno ad. Not even doing And it's magnetic. Cool. And that, that color is... Um, I know. We're getting off subject, aren't we? I'll probably cut this out anyway. I don't know. We'll see. Um, that's called Winnie. Winnie the Pooh, and this one is called Miriam. Oh, look, 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 look. Isn't that pretty? And this is their, um, a badass does not talk about a badass. Yeah, this is their Icon lipstick. So I just got those today. Anyway, guys, I'm done. So if you want, if you want to go out and, and get these palettes, then by all means, you know, go get them. But I'm, i from one, I just don't like them. Um, like I said, I just think the formulas are not that great on them. If you like glitter, um, highlighters, then yeah, it's going to be great. Because they're definitely glitter highlighter. If you don't like glitter highlighters, then I would stay away from them. Um, because that's just the formula they are. They're glitter highlighter. So if you don't like glitter highlighters, you're not going to like it. Simple as that. Anyway, my darling lovelies, I got to go. I got to film an Ipsy video because I got my Ipsy bags in. And I got a little uh, surprise with that. So I need to go do that. Anyway, I love you so much. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day and coming and playing and make up with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forgive me. Forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Share the video so we can get the word out. Um, I talk about my breast cancer journey and my mental health a lot. I'm trying to not bore you with it a whole lot, but I do talk about it a lot. So I do talk about it. So be prepared because you never know what's coming out of my mouth you just never know and i do get long-winded as you know i try to get better with that but yeah i do get i do get long-winded and i get off subject a lot i'm sorry but i do but anyway guys i'll see you in the next one do not forget to take care of each other be good to each other be good to yourself and stay safe bye guys